Hey guys, it's Charlie here and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an awesome looking website for your personal brand. So whether you're a speaker, an entrepreneur, content creator, photographer, literally anything, and you're looking to build a website, then this video is going to be perfect for you. So I'll basically show you guys step by step how you guys can build a really great looking website in under an hour with literally zero coding experience. And we'll be using a platform called Wix, which I highly, highly recommend. It's one of the most affordable but powerful website building platforms out there, especially if you want to build a website fast. So feel free to follow along. We'll be putting the link to Wix down below. And yeah, if you guys do use that link, it does help support the channel. So thank you so much in advance. It's what allows us to create these tutorials for you guys for free. So yeah, thank you so much again. So again, like I said earlier, if you guys click on the link down below, it's going to take you to this exact page and you guys will be able to follow along as I build this website step by step. So the first thing you're going to want to do is enter in your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. Click start now. It's going to allow us to actually create an account with Google, Facebook, or with your Apple ID. But for this video, I'll be creating it with my email. After that, it's going to have me enter in my password. And after that, I'll click sign up. So now it's going to ask you a series of questions. And this is sort of going to help Wix decide what templates are best for for your website. So we'll go ahead and answer these like this, but of course you guys can skip at any time you want. We'll enter in the website name. So for me, I'll put Charlie Chang, let's say speaker, and that's gonna show you what they actually recommend. So for this one, let's just go with professional CV. We'll click next. We'll enter in our website name. It's gonna recommend some things for us. We can check this. We can see if there's any of these things that we want to add to our website. We can include a blog, for example. We can include our Instagram feed. And yeah, let's click next right here. And this is gonna and bring us to our dashboard. Now, once we're in our dashboard, this is basically our control center. So you guys can look at all these reports, your marketing SEO, you can look at all your contacts that you get from your forms. Since we selected portfolio and blog, we have those right here. So if you want to create a blog post, that's very easy to do. We'll just come here, create post, and then you'll be able to start writing. But we'll come back here to home. And basically the first thing that we're gonna want to do is connect a custom domain. What I would do is search up. So let's say we want to do Charlie Chang speaker, click let's go it's gonna see if that's available and luckily it is and we can click get it now of course to actually have a custom domain with Wix you will need to upgrade to one of their paid plans which in my opinion are super super worth it they're very affordable and yeah what I recommend doing is you guys can build your website for free but once you actually want to publish it that's when I recommend upgrading to one of their paid plans that's gonna give you so much more functionality it's gonna remove the Wix branding which is definitely something you want and of course you're gonna get that custom domain which is imperative so if you guys take a look at the pricing you guys can see their plans basically start at $16 per month. They have the combo plan. They have the unlimited plan, the pro plan, as well as VIP. If you guys do want to sell things, you'll want to select one of their business or e-commerce plans. And of course, for even larger scale projects, you guys might want to select an enterprise plan. But for most of you guys watching this video, if you're only displaying information, then one of these website plans should be perfectly sufficient. You guys can see they all come with custom domain. They have varying amounts of storage space as well as video hours. And yeah, pretty much any of these should be good for you guys just see which of these features you need and select accordingly so we'll skip that for this video since i am just doing a tutorial video but if you're actually creating a published website then definitely get the paid plan so we're gonna come back here to home and what we're gonna do now is start to build our website this is the fun part and as you guys will see the wix website builder is extremely easy to use so to start designing we're gonna come here and click design site so it's gonna ask us how would you like to design your website they basically have two options the first is you'll let Wix create a site for you. This is good if you literally have zero time, but of course there's not that much you guys can actually customize. So for most of you guys watching this video, I'd say like 95% of you guys watching this video, click customize a design template. So we'll click pick a template right here. This is going to bring us to all the different templates that Wix has. And this is definitely a very strong part of this platform. They have a ton of really professional looking websites that literally you can basically put your pictures in, put your text in and have a very professional looking website that would have cost, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars to create if you had it made custom. So we'll scroll down here. Let's see if there's any of these that you like. I recommend take a few minutes, browse through their different templates and see which one matches your vibe and your personal brand. So let's say we like the look of this particular one. We can click view right here. See how this looks. I think this looks pretty cool. And we can click edit the site. And that is going to bring us to the Wix website editor, which is really easy to use and has so much different functionality and things that we can add. So over here, you can basically add elements. We can add different sections. We can build new pages or remove pages. We can change the overall site design, add different apps, which we'll talk about later. And also 
also manage the media as well. So first thing, let's come here to pages and menu. You guys can see right now we have home and articles up here in the header. Let's say we want to add something else, an about me section, right? So let's say we look through here and let's say we like this one. So we'll click add page. This is going to add a new page here that we can rename. So we can call it, let's say about me, click done. We can change the order of this menu as well. So if you want it third, you can put it there, vice versa. We can also click on these three dots right here, mess around with the settings. We can set it as the home page, or we can even hide it from the menu. But let's leave it like that for now. Let's come back here to the home page. And let's say we want to change up the color scheme. What we can do is click on this change section background. From here, we can select different backgrounds that are included with Wix. We can change the color. So let's say we want to do something like that. Let's change this text as well. So of course, we're going to have it be your own name. So I'll do, if you guys don't like this font, you guys can highlight this change it to whatever you like. You can make it a little bit bigger too if you want. Make it bold, up to you guys. Here, of course, we want to change the photo. So you'll basically just click on this, click change image. From here, we can actually drag and drop different files that we want to have. So let's say we want to use this photo right here. So I'm going to select that, drag it right here. That's going to upload it. From there, we can actually click choose image and it's going to put that in here. Of course, we can crop, enhance it, put filters on it, whatever we want. We can also have it linked to a different page. That's up to you guys. Now, as you guys can see, there are these two dots the lines right here. And basically what they're saying is you want to keep most of your important text and information within those two lines, because on different browsers, on different screen resolutions, this stuff is going to change and move around a bit and you don't want anything super important outside of there. So let's make this a little bit smaller. What we can do is click edit text, make it like that. If this picture is a little bit too big, we can always drag this like that, move it however we like. Okay, so we can do it like that, center it with that purple line. Let's move this over here just a little bit more. Okay. Now, one awesome thing about this editor is that we can literally drag things as you know freely as we want. So we can literally change the position of anything. We could even, for example, come here, click change section background, click image. We can upload media. So we'll go back here. Let's select one of these things. Let's do this one. Then let's click change background. And then, yeah, that's pretty cool. My head is cut off a little bit. So what we can basically do is come here, select how it's positioned. And yeah, obviously we'll want to change this text so that it's a little bit easier to read. We'll come here to color. Let's make it white. We can actually delete this if you don't want it. And let's say we want to drag it over here. We can delete this and yeah, obviously play around with this, right? Not every image is going to work really well. Just make sure that you know it scales well, especially when we edit the mobile site, which I'll show you later on in this video. We can come down here to the about me section. We can change this, of course, very easy. Let's say we want to add a section between here. We'll come here, click add section. And from here, you can select all the different templates that they have for these different sections. So let's say we want to do a call to action, getting them to join our newsletter. Let's select this one. And what I'm going to do is drag that into that section right there. That's going to add it. And basically what we can do is we can change the colors, of course. We can change the image and we can also change the text right here. So this is basically creating a subscribers form. And when people enter in their email, it's going to go into your contacts database. But yeah, super, super easy. If there's any sections that you don't want, we can basically select that. Come here and click delete that remove that whole section. I definitely recommend changing the copyright year to the current year. Any changes in the footer here or in the header up here, it's going to be site wide. So that's going to show up on all of your different pages. All the changes that we're doing in this purple section, it's only going to be for this particular page, which is the home page. In terms of other things you guys should do, I would recommend coming here to site design. You guys can change the theme at any time if you want. We can change the page background. And then if you guys want to add more functionality to your website, you guys and come here to add apps. This is super cool. This is also another really big plus for Wix. And they basically have all these different apps that you guys can basically insert into your website. Now, a lot of these apps are created by third party providers and a lot of them are also free as well, which is pretty cool. So for example, let's say you want to actually sell things, right? You guys can actually insert the Wix stores app and start selling your own items. You can also have an actual forum within your website. You can have a chat box. Yeah lots and lots of different functionality that you guys can add. Now, before you guys publish your website, you definitely need to come here and click on switch to mobile. And that's basically going to show you what your website is going to look like on a phone, right? So a good portion of your audience will be looking at your website from their phone. So you'll definitely want to make sure that everything looks okay. If you guys don't change the desktop version too much, then like I said, these are all professionally made templates. And so they should look pretty good. You probably won't have to tweak these much at all. So I think this looks pretty 
pretty good. And then what we'll basically do is click publish when we are ready to actually publish it to the web. Now, before we do that, I'm going to come back here to desktop. And I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to create a blog post. So this is currently what the blog page looks like. And if you guys want to actually, you know, create a new post, you'll come back here to Wix. This is of course going to bring us to our dashboard. We're going to come to blog right here, posts, and then create new post. Here you can add your title and then start writing your post right here, right? So we can add text, we can add images, videos, all that stuff. You can also translate easily into other languages. You guys can monetize your blog. We can add different sections, right? So we can add, for example, an image by clicking this. So we want to put this right here add to page. Of course, you're probably not going to do that, but yeah, just an example of something that you guys can do and then click publish right here. Now you guys can see we have our first blog post available right here. We can edit this at any time and that will be available to see on the website once we publish it. So go back to home, click design site again. That's going to take us back to the Wix website editor. Let's say we're happy with how this design looks. Of course, I recommend playing around with it more, make it more to your style. But yeah, you should literally be able to create a very good looking website in about an hour or two. Before clicking publish, I always recommend upgrading because you're not going to want the Wix branding at the top. You're going to definitely want a custom domain. And yeah, as you guys saw earlier, it's extremely affordable and it's completely worth it. But let's say we've done that. What we're going to do now is click publish. And now that means our website is going to be live. That means other people are going to be able to actually view our site. We can click view site right here. And yeah, that's basically going to take us to the web page. As you guys can see, since we were on the free one, it has this little ad up here. But yeah, overall, as you guys saw, making a website for your personal brand is really, really easy. You guys can create new pages. You guys can have a blog. And yeah, really the things that you guys can add to your website using Wix, it's pretty much endless. So yeah, that's basically how you build a personal brand website on Wix. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the link to Wix is going to be down below. If you guys do use that link, it's going to help support the channel and make free content like this possible. So yeah, thank you so much in advance. Anyways, that was a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your website. This is a long video, you guys. and I didn't go into all the details since that would literally take probably hours. But as you guys can see, it's super, super intuitive. You guys can literally learn how to use Wix within uh, you know 30 minutes or so. And within an hour or two, if you guys use a template, you'll have a very great looking website. Focus your time not building the website. Focus it on building your actual personal brand, creating content. That's the stuff that really matters. But of course, you'll still want to have that website as part of your personal brand. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. On this channel, we do a ton of free guides and tutorials helping you to start your business. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.